Welcome to the RAF IP Reference and Installation Guide. This is a general guideline for installation and connections, not a programming video. In this video, we will define VOIP and required components of a two-way communication system in elevator landings or areas of refuge, stairwells. Discuss two basic VOIP installation types, non-supervised and supervised. Review required supervision per NFPA 72 code. Chapter 1. System Definitions VOIP, also referred to as IP, stands for Voice Over Internet Protocol. VOIP is the ability to provide voice over a network or internet connection. To make a call, a telephone is connected to a network cable rather than a phone line. This is not to be mistaken with phone service provided by a local cable company, such as Spectrum or Comcast, where you are connecting to a phone modem. In order to install an IP call box system into a building, you need an IP network with internet and a firewall, a building router, and a network switch. The building's network must also be on a backed up power source. POE, which stands for Power Over Ethernet, is required to power an IP-based call box when installed either in an elevator landing or stairwell. A PoE switch uses the power for its operation and drops it to 12 volt, injecting that into the same Ethernet connection that the phone uses for voice communication. Chapter 2 IP Communication Systems and Requirements Two way IP communication systems require an IP call box in each elevator landing or area of refuge located on each floor above and below the main exit floor. Note, per code, three signs are also required at each location. They include instructions, tactile, and illuminated signs. This is the typical setup for an IP phone or call box system. There is a PoE network connection from the IP call box to a local network switch, which is tied into the building's network. RATH provides an IP questionnaire to be filled out and returned with all required IP information so that the system can be pre-programmed. Chapter 3 Non-Supervised System Installations The components for this system include 2100 series IP call boxes, an IP command center base station with distribution module, power supply, RP7700104, router, network switch with PoE ports, and CAT5E communication cable, at minimum. This is the wiring demonstration for a non-supervised IP system. The IP call box will directly connect via the CAT5E run. It is terminated with an RJ45 connection on both ends. The IP call box is also powered from this PoE Plus connection. The phone requires standard programming for operation. It also requires the IP information to be programmed via laptop. Take the Ethernet connection from the IP call box to the local network switch. This local network switch is then connected to the main floor network switch and or router. Connect the IP Command Center's distribution module to the building router via an Ethernet cable. This router will then connect to the main floor network switch via an additional Ethernet cable. Note, for larger buildings over approximately 300 feet, an additional network switch is required to extend the network. Connect the WAN port of the VOIP interface card inside the distribution module to the building router via an Ethernet cable. Plug the power connection of the distribution module into the RP7700104. Run a single twisted shielded pair from the distribution module to the command center. If there are multiple lobby stations, run an additional pair to each lobby unit from the distribution module. Chapter 4 Supervised System Installations the code requirements in this section are from NFPA 72-2016. This code references system integrity and power requirements. The components for this system include 2100 series IP call boxes, an IP command center base station with distribution module, power supply, RP7700104, router, 
network switch with PoE ports, CAT5e communication cable, at minimum, IP supervisor, 2500 VOIPM, and an uninterruptible power supply monitor, 2500 UPS monitor. This is the wiring demonstration for a supervised IP system. Note, the initial wiring setup for a supervised system follows the same steps as the non-supervised system. Take the Ethernet connection from the IP call box to the local network switch. This local network switch is then connected to the main floor network switch and or router. Connect the IP command center's distribution module to the building router via an Ethernet cable. This router will then connect to the main floor network switch via an additional Ethernet cable. Note, for larger buildings over approximately 300 feet, an additional network switch is required to extend the network. Connect the WAN port of the VOIP interface card inside the distribution module to the building router via an Ethernet cable. Plug the power connection of the distribution module into the RP7700104. Run a single twisted shielded pair from the distribution module to the command center. If there are multiple lobby stations, run an additional pair to each lobby unit from the distribution module. Connect the 2500 VOIPM to the building router via an Ethernet cable. The 2500 VOIPM pings all of the system devices on the network to ensure functioning communication pathways. Plug the power connection of the 2500 VOIPM into the RP7700104. Run the relay contact of the 2500 VOIPM to the fire alarm panel. Run the relay contact of the UPS monitor to the fire alarm panel. Plug the power connection of the UPS monitor into the RP7700104. Chapter 5, Connecting to the Outbound Phone Line. If you are connecting to an analog phone line, take the RJ11 connection on the analog communication line from the existing phone system to the TWT port within the command center distribution module. If you are using an extension off of an existing IP phone system, it requires an additional 2100 VOIP, which would be registered as a third-party SIP endpoint. Connect the FXS port of the 2100 VOIP to the TWT port of the distribution module. If you have any questions or require further information, please contact RATH directly. To learn how to program our IP system, sign up for our technical training webinar. Our dependable, high-quality, made-in-the-USA products are truly protecting what matters.